Hello, welcome to the Agent Getting Started series. Today we're covering part two of the Binary Pictures episode, and we're going to learn how to use Agent's newsgroup directory to find and discover new binary newsgroups for sampling and downloading. There are three ways to launch the newsgroup directory. You can use the toolbar icon or select Tools newsgroup directory, or my favorite, control shift n Up to now we've only looked at fractals, which are, well, kind of nerdy. So let's go find something we can all enjoy. When I was a kid, I just loved movie posters. You know, monster movies with King Kong dangling Fay Ray, or film noir movies with Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Gives me chills just thinking about it. And as I mentioned in the installation episode, I want you to think of the newsgroup directory as your address book for Usenet. And I'm using the Agent Usenet service, so I have over 100,000 newsgroups in my directory. So how do I find pictures of movie posters? Well, to start with, I'm going to search for the term picture. Now, I never know if it's picture or pictures, so I'm going to put a wildcard asterisk character at the end of it so I can match either one. And with movies, I don't know if it's singular or plural either, so I'm going to search for MOV asterisk. In other words, I'm looking for a group that has a name that contains both of those terms. Now, well, let's do the search. Hmm, cool. It narrowed it down to four groups. So I'm going to actually select all four groups and then drag them and drop them into the folder pane so I can actually work with them there. Sweet. I'll close the news group directory and sample them from the folder pane. I'm most interested in these two groups because they closely matched what I was searching for. And I'm going to go to the action menu and I'm going to get headers, sample recent headers. What's cool is it's going to sample both groups because I had them both selected. And this time around, I'm going to get 5,000 uh, headers from each group. Let's uh, zoom in on the folder pane for a second and see what we got. Okay, there are 2600 messages in this group, but only two in this group. To see what happened, let's launch Agents Task Manager. I can do that from the toolbar or from the tools menu using the task manager option or the keyboard shortcut control shift T. The task manager is a three paned interface as well and we're going to zoom in on the completed tasks where agent logs an entry for each online task it performs. At the top you'll see an entry for pictures.movie posters with the results and the amount of time it took. Below that you'll see an entry for the group movies-posters. Well that was probably a typo. And then down here you can see where we got marked message bodies, 19 of them, for pictures.fractals. Let's drill into movie-posters for a second and you'll see that it downloaded 4,500 sections or headers. Well, that might seem odd because we requested 5,000. But the way Usenet articles are numbered, there's often gaps. So the numbers won't always equal. You'll also notice over here that it converted those headers into 2,600 messages. Now just hold that thought and we'll come back to it later. Okay, I'm going to close the task manager and zoom out into three pane mode. Well, 
this news group here definitely looks bogus, so I'm just going to delete that one. This one here looks a lot more promising. I'm going to zoom into the message list and let's see, this trail of the octopus looks interesting, so let me sample it. I love it. Let's take a look at it in Irfin view. Oh, that is so cool. The Mysterious Adventures of a Master Criminologist. I think I'll save that one to my attachment folder. Now let's scroll around here a little bit more. Oh, check it out. The Big Sleep. Philip Marlowe. I love it. I'm just going to launch that directly into Irfin View. Oh, Bogey and Bacall. Come on now. Those were the days. Remember I said I'd explain how 4,600 headers turned into only 2,600 messages? We'll take a look at Blonde Alibi. And then let's tab into the message. It turns out that this particular message, or binary, is so big that it takes three separate Usenet messages to carry all the data. Then once we retrieve it, Agent will join those three messages into a single message whose size is 1.2 megabytes. Let's recap what we've learned. Agent's newsgroup directory acts like an address book for Usenet. The task manager keeps track of all the online tasks performed by agent. The folder pane lets us perform operations on more than one newsgroup at a time. And sampling binary newsgroups with agents built-in image preview and the ability to launch an external viewing program such as Irfin View is the only way to go. Thank you and enjoy.